Legislative efforts to set up supervised opioid consumption sites in Massachusetts has drawn support here in Western Mass. Four local teenagers were among those testifying at the State House earlier this week. And Western Mass News reporter Glenn Kittle joins us live in studio with more on the proposal. Glenn? Yeah, Chris Abbey, the teens joined medical experts to tell legislators these sites would help reduce overdose deaths in the Bay State. When I was only 10 years old, my father was prescribed opioids for treatment after getting into a car accident where his doctor was the first person to get him addicted to substances. Annabella Reeves is one of the four teens with the Palante Restorative Justice Program in Holyoke, appealing to state legislators to make opioid consumption sites legal in the Bay State. The proposal would create a 10-year pilot program to allow drug users to consume drugs in a facility with trained staff on standby to prevent overdoses instead of abusing those drugs on the street. It's a very serious issue. It's gotten to the point where kids can't even go to parks because there'll be people passed out at the slide or they'll be shooting up stuff in their tents that are built underneath the slide. State Senator John Velas is a co-chair of the Joint Committee on Mental Health and Substance Use and Recovery hearing this testimony. Velas tells Western Mass News sites like this one exist in two other places, New York City and the state of Rhode Island. According to experts he's heard from, these facilities have proven to save lives. One of the things that was compelling to me was the number of people from the medical professions that do this addiction Thing on a daily basis who said this is a good idea for one reason and one reason only we're keeping people alive so that they might be able at some point in time to get the treatment they need and they get better Velas tells western mass news if made legal the drug consumption sites would only be in municipalities that want them however there are still many legal questions that need to be answered before this proposed program takes any further steps forward right now these sites would be illegal under federal law. We need to know where the federal government is on this. You know, this can't be another example of Washington, D.C. not letting their partners in government know where they stand on an issue like we see in so many other issues. Now, Vilas tells us so far, Somerville is the only community in the state that has expressed interest in this drug consumption pilot program. However, he says there is still a long way to go before any law is passed to allow the facilities be built. Reporting live in the studio, Glenn Kittle, Western Mass News.